so yeah, I walked over to the university and said, hey, I don't have a degree in anywhere close to architecture. Um, and they said, we would like to start a program for people who don't have a degree in anything that's close to architecture. And I was like, hey, that's great. Um, and they were like, when can you start? So, you know, I came in the next year. Um, I was the inaugural student that <laughs> was the only student that year um, in that program. Uh, and then after me, they started having bigger and bigger classes. I am the Environmental Responsibility Director at McGranahan Architects. So we do a lot of uh, educational architecture, so K through 12, as well as higher education. Um, and I am in charge of a lot of the sustainability development of, the, of all the buildings that we do and making sure that our firm is informed of all of the you know, stuff that's going on with architecture and sustainability. Um, I am also a project architect, so it's not my full-time job to be director. Um, about half my time is spent on that and embedding into projects and making sure we're doing all the green things that the project can possibly do. Um, but the rest of my job is to be a project architect and, and run my own uh, run my own project as well. When I traveled the world and I got back and still didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, it's like, honestly, you don't need to, you don't need to know right away. I feel that very deeply. Um, so I get back, I start working at a hardware store. Um, it's a hardware lumber store. It's like kind of like Home Depot, but for a small town. And, uh, and I'm there for like five years, just, you know, making minimum wage, doing my thing, having fun, hanging out, learning about building buildings, learning about, you know, how to do plumbing, learning about all of these things. And one day my boss told me he was going to fire me. And I was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, you know, you just, you don't, you don't belong here. You've got to go on and find something else. And he said, well, what about architecture? And I was like, well, I've literally never thought about that before. And then by the next week, I'm back there saying, hey, uh, you know, I think I want to go try to be in architecture. <laughs> so, you know, someone else had to tell me where my path laid when I just really didn't understand where I was going. I was, I didn't even know about architecture when I was a kid. You know, fifth, when I was five years old, I was like, I want to be a doctor. When I was 10, I was like, I want to be, uh, you know, an archaeologist. I got to high school and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I was really good at math, um, you know, very nerdy things like mathletes. I was into uh, my violin a lot. I was, you know, first chair in the orchestra, as well as doing some individual competitions and that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, people just told me all the time, you have so much potential, you have so much potential. And I was just like, I don't, well, I don't know what to do with all that potential, right? Like everyone, when you're 17, when you're 16, uh, I just, for me personally, I had no idea. And I know there are people, there's definitely a lot of people in architecture who were five years old and drawing houses and saying, I'm going to be an architect. And they knew. And I was always a little envious of those people um, until I realized that I had so much experience in all these different kinds of things like sports and violin and things that had nothing to do with architecture. Um, uh, but ended up having everything to do with architecture. Everybody uses buildings and being a well-rounded person coming into architecture helps you understand everybody who's trying to use the building in various different ways. So we do need all sorts of people to come into architecture, whether you're thinking about that in, in, in high school or not. Architecture is re a really broad career. So you can go so many different ways. If you want to be passionate about what you do, there's so many different th ways you can go in architecture, you know, that, and it's not just, you know, school architecture, you know, residential architecture, uh, libraries, anything that needs to be built <laughs> where they're be building it and, and, and designing it and seeing how it goes together the best way. Um, and then inside of that, you know, I, I have coworkers who stay on more on the planning side of things. And they don't draw details of how the building goes together. There's some people who are like really focused on the code because I also nerd out on a bit, but it can get really technical. Um, and so you can be a really technical architect or you can be almost on the job site every day doing the actual, making sure the, the building is going 
uh, together correctly. Um, so it's all, every part of architecture though is a way to be creative. So if you wanna be passionate about your career, if you wanna be in a career that you get to be creative every day, um, architecture is one of the few places I think you can be to do that. Thank you.